Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. Let's get productive today, shall we? <laughs> For a while now, I wanted to create some nice looking overlay animations for these YouTube videos here. You know, stuff like this. Especially in tutorial videos or screen recordings of any kind, you can definitely make good use of such overlays. And it's not really difficult to create them, let's be honest. You just have to do it. So let's get started. And the video title already revealed it. We are working with the grease pencil and that's part of Blender. Whew, surprise, surprise. Directly from the splash screen, we can open up the 2D animation workspace. This is our drawing board. Here we can draw something. And if we're not brave enough to call it art, then we have to delete it. <laughs> Magic. Um, all right, let's first dial in some settings. Over here in the output properties, you can see we are working in 1920 by 1080, so full HD, 800 by 800 should be enough. And that's not small either, I know, but I can always scale down my animations later in post. That's way better than scaling them up and losing quality that way. It's just the way I like to work. Okay, let's move on. Next thing we have to take care of is the frame rate. 25 frames per second. I live in Europe, 25 is pretty common here. And I can also set my output folder. Next, let's jump into the render properties. Here we have to activate the transparency. Otherwise our render will come out with a white background that's not what we want, we want the background to be easy to use and that means transparent. Materials. Let's delete these four default ones that Blender creates with every 2D animation scene. I create a new one, call it yellow and choose a yellow that I like. A little bit orangey cool over here on the left you can find the tool panel we are going to use the draw tool and the eraser tool in this video but let's start with the draw tool blender it comes with a couple of presets that you can use for your drawings i want to use this ink preset yellow is already set let's dial in the radius 300 pixels for me and here in the post-processing settings I bump up the smoothness because when it comes to drawing I can use any help that I can get <laughs> simple as that now it's time to draw you can do this with your mouse let me try this real quick uh, ooh. I guess that's a super good opportunity to show you the eraser tool. Like the drawing tool, it comes with a couple of presets. I like this here best. It simply erases every stroke that I click on. Easy. Back to the drawing tool. And I think now it's time to switch to my Wacom tablet. Not that this is a must, you can of course just do it with your mouse, but whatever helps right uh. <laughs> whatever helps one more try better better but not perfect let me do this again oh that hurts um this one that's okay now we need to animate it modify properties and add in a build modifier and the arrow is gone but don't panic it's still there it slowly builds up from frame 1 to frame 100 so over the course of four seconds which is super slow let's speed this up ah uh, no that's too quick I guess 
Let me try 20. Better. Yes. Yes, I like that. So the arrow gets drawn over the first 20 frames and then it patiently waits there for the animation to end. Let's end it at frame 150. That's long enough. Cool. Now we could theoretically render out this animation. Let's double check if everything is set correctly. Transparent, yes. This is all looking good. But before we render it out, let me show you one more thing. Let's say you want to add something, a couple more strokes. Then you have to deactivate the build modifier. Make sure you're on the first frame and then you can draw whatever you like. And once you activate this modifier again, the animation is updated. Pretty cool. And now let me quickly delete this nonsense. Eraser tool, da -da -da -da, all gone. Nice. Now it's time to render. We already double checked all of our settings, so just hit Option or Command F12, depending on your operating system, and then grab a cup of coffee, tea, or apple juice. I don't know. Just relax. Watch the computer do all the rest. It's pretty quick. And once that's finished, I can show you every single frame as an individual PNG in my output folder. Okay, and now to wrap this up, let me show you how to import it into Premiere. Double click here. I choose the first frame, make sure it's an image sequence and open. There it is. I just drag it on a layer above my video clip in the timeline and that's it. And now let me quickly scale this guy up so you can see what I'm talking about when I say that you lose quality that way. That's ugly. I don't want that. So let me dial it back to its original state. Or even better, I scale it down and put it in place just like that. And that is it. If you are, for whatever reason, too lazy to build your own custom overlays, you can download and use mine. Just follow the link in the description. They're free. You have nothing to lose. I swear. It's not much, but it comes from deep inside of my heart. <laughs> like always, I hope you liked this episode. If so, don't forget to leave me your thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Stay clean. Stay healthy. Bye for now.